Right. A lot of us have spent a lot of time doing things for other people because that's what they want for us. And not a lot of time doing things that we want for ourselves because that's what we want. Okay. And we because become accustomed so much to doing things for other people the way they want them because they want the, to, the us to do it because they think that will be most beneficial for us that we've lost sight of what we wanted for ourselves originally, what makes us happy as an individual, right? Because we spend all of our lives doing things for other people. As a child, you came home from school, from elementary school, and as soon as you come into the house, your mother tells you what chores to do. You got to take out the trash. You got to clean these dishes. You got to get your room clean, right? When you're younger, you don't really have a grasp of why those things need to be done, right? You just know that your mom is telling you that those things need to be done. So you're not really taking out the trash because if you don't take out the trash, there's going to be a whole bunch of garbage everywhere. It's going to start stinking up the place and you're going to have rats and rodents and your whole uh, house is going to be disgusting. You don't really take out the trash because of that. You take out the trash because mom tells you to, right? You don't really wash the dishes because if you don't wash the dishes, they're going to grow a bunch of mold and then you'll have nothing to put your food on when you finally want to eat something and you won't have a sanitary uh, place to eat, right? You just wash the dishes because mom tells you to wash the dishes. You don't really clean your room because if you don't clean your room, then you're going to have a whole bunch of clothes everywhere. You're going to be disorganized. You won't be able to think straight. You won't be able to find anything because of all the massive disorganization and clutter that's going on everywhere. You just clean your room because your mom tells you to clean your room. Okay. As a, as a, as a young child, as a young child, sorry. Right. Even when you become a high school student and you finally graduate high school, right? What's the first thing that happens after you graduate high school? You start looking at what you're going to do next, whether it be college, whether you want to study a trade, whether you want to, you know, go into finance, whatever it is, whatever you want to do. Right. Right. And what's the first thing that happens? Right. You ask your parents for advice and your parents tell you where the best places for you to go to college is, to go to university is. Right. Of course, they don't decide for you, but when you grow up, right, let's say both of your parents, let's just imagine you grow up in a household where both of your parents went to USC, okay, and your parents fell in love at USC, they met at USC, they always are wearing USC sweatshirts all around the house. What do you think is the most likely place you're going to choose to go to college when you finally get, get that time and you graduate high school? you're most likely going to choose to go to USC, not because it's any better of a school than all the other schools, not even because it might necessarily be better for what you're trying to get into, but simply because, right, the influence of your parents on you have convinced you to align yourself with USC. There's nothing wrong with that, right? So you go to USC based on the recommendation of your parents and what they've experienced, okay? Okay. So you choose a school based on what, what, what other people want for you, right? You clean your room and do your chores based on what other people tell you to do. Okay. When you finally graduate a uh, college and you go out into the quote unquote real world and you're looking for a job, right? You're looking for a job based on the degree you have from college, right? Because other people will tell you what type of jobs you should apply for based on the education that you have at the college that you went to at the recommendation for your parents. So again, you're doing what other people think you should be doing. Okay. Even though I know it's on a super subconscious level, when you finally get into the job that you've got from the degree that you earned from the college that you went to, right? On the first day of the job, your boss comes to you and your boss tells you, congratulations on the new job. We're so glad to have you on the team. Now, I need you to do this paperwork. I need you to fill out these forms and I need you to have it all done by 4 p.m. before we close. And you're like, of course, boss, I'll do that, right? And for the next 5, 6, 7, 10, 20 years, you spend the rest of your life doing what someone else wants you to do, right? and making someone else happy, right? So my point being is you're working a job for a boss 
to make your boss happy, right? Because your boss happy is going to get you paid. The job that you're working, you got because of the degree you got at the recommendation of whatever your parents recommended you what school to go to, right? Which led you to get a specific degree, which then people recommended to you based on the school you went to and the degree that you got, what job you should apply for. And the job you applied for led you here to working for your boss, okay? So your entire lifespan has been making other people happy and doing what other people recommend you should be doing, that you to be doing. Now, there's nothing particularly wrong with that, but how much of your life are you spending thinking about what you want for yourself? Not what other people want for you, what you want for you. Okay? And this is why a lot of us struggle with the idea of having to sit down and think about what they wish for. That's the craziest part is that if a genie were to actually come to you and grant your wishes, which the universe is your genie, okay? I, I, I don't know if I'm bursting your bubble by telling you this or if this is a shock to you, but the universe is your genie. The universe will grant you whatever you want. But a lot of you guys, right, are so unfamiliar with what it is you even wish for that even if I was to be a genie that could mag magically grant you all your wishes, you wouldn't even know what to wish for. Uh, I think it was Bonnie that said, oh, I want to marry a rich man. Well, remember, the genie is going to grant you your wish, but the more specific you are, the closer your wish, your the wish that I grant you will be to what you actually want. So if you tell me you just want to marry a rich man that you're attracted to, yeah, I can give you a rich man that you're attracted to, but are you going to get along with him in the relationship? How old is he going to be? How old is he going to be relative to you, right? How tall is he going to be? What's his fight language going to be like? I mean, you said you're attracted to him. You didn't say you would get along with him. You didn't say you'd have uh, good times with him all the time. You didn't say he'd be a family man. You didn't even tell me that you wanted to have kids with this man. You didn't tell me where you wanted to live. You didn't tell me what you wanted him to do. You didn't tell me what you wanted his career path to be. You could be attracted to him and he could be a rich man, but he could be working literally 25-8 and you never see him or spend any time with him. You didn't specify that to me in your wish. I'm just granting you your wish. I don't know what you want. You didn't tell me. You just told me rich man that you're attracted to. So I gave you a rich man who you're attracted to, but you never see. But you didn't tell me that. You didn't tell me what type of job you wanted him to have. You didn't tell me how much money you wanted him to have. You didn't tell me if you wanted him to be a business owner or an NBA player or a golfer or a boxer or a fisherman. You didn't tell me any of that. So I just gave you whatever. You only told me rich and attracted. I gave you what, what you asked for. You didn't tell me all those other things. Every chance, every piece of information you provide in your wishes brings you one step closer to actually getting that. Uh, before that, Bonnie said, before that, I said swimming in money. Okay, swimming in money from what? I can give you a rich man who's a drug dealer. You see how that works? You see how that works? The genie can actually give you what you don't want if you don't do the job of being specific. I can give you a guy who's swimming in money. I can also make him a drug dealer. You didn't tell me what type of job you wanted him to have. He can be a kingpin. He could uh, be a scammer. I can give you a rich scammer. You'll live in a nice house. He'll probably go to jail um, after about five years of marriage and then your kids will grow up without a dad. But you didn't tell me that. You just told me you wanted a rich man who's attractive. I can give, I can give, you, I can give you one of those. Because the more complicated you make it, of oh, oh, is this is this a is this a wish or is this a need? Is this a desire or is this a or is this a just kind of need it? Just kind of want it would would be nice. To... You start complicating it and you stop the process of just putting out onto the paper what what it is you want. Just putting you just need to get into the habit of just putting it out onto the paper. I want this. Put it out onto the paper. I want this. Put it out onto the paper. Sarah Tima says like the bare minimum or your dream man. Your dream man your dream so we're we're talking about writing down your dream relationship and your dream life so all of it we're not talking about nice to haves we're not talking about oh this is uh, the bare minimum or it would oh, be okay everything that you want you put on that piece of paper right there is no we don't we're not calling it dreaming okay we're just talking about these this is your wish list don't think about it too hard except this is my wish list I am your genie here to grant you all of your wishes. 
you must be specific with your wishes or else your wish will not be will be granted in a way that doesn't make you happy the less detail you give the more wrong the the grant of the wish will be okay just think of it like that you will be punished for being vague you will be punished for being unspecific it's unspecific even a word you will be punished for not being specific okay Every single detail, every single detail. I want you to tell me how much your chandelier costs in the house. I want you to tell me the square footage of your house down to the last tile. I want you to tell me how many TVs you have. I want you to tell me the color of your bed sheets. I want you to tell me the color of the hardwood. Okay, everything. I want you to tell me the uh, breed of your dog, okay? The size and weight of your dog. I want you to tell me what type of dog food you feed your dog. Everything, everything, right? And the reason I stress this so much is because this will give you a lot, a lot, a lot of clarity in your life. It will bring you so much clarity. 